While Sumner rarely paints man-made objects, occasionally his politics, as expressed on canvas, tend toward man's more glorious achievements. Sumner created Sweet Liberty, the work that became the official painting of the July 4, 1986 restoration of the Statue of Liberty. That work is now permanently installed in the Statue of Liberty Museum. And last year, Sumner was commissioned to create the official painting of the Golden Gate Bridge for its 50th anniversary. Artist George Sumner has painted just two man-made things in his life. The first was the Statue of Liberty. The second was the Golden Gate Bridge. Before painting, Sumner spent some time flying around the bridge. He says it helps to see the bridge from a new place. He says it reminds you of how you see it in your heart. I would love to stir people's imagination. That, to me, keeps you truly free. I try to make a very simple statement. I think the hardest thing to do in art, as far as I'm concerned, is to simplify and clarify a dreamlike emotion and, and not to junk it up and, you know, make it very, very confusing. Sumner paints with cloth diapers. It's a technique he picked up when his son was a baby. And I'm self-taught. I don't know of anybody else doing it, but uh, I just hope the baby diaper supply can hold up because I don't use pampers. <laughs> Sumner wants people to see the bridge in reality as well as in art. Proceeds from the sale of lithographs and posters of the painting will go towards lighting up the bridge towers at night. And that's what this is for, to raise money to, to light the bridge forever. And I like to leave a legacy to my son that someday he'll be able to say, uh, my dad helped light the bridge. Although he has lived in Northern California all his life and crossed the bridge thousands of times, Sumner spent a good deal of time studying the span before embarking on his painting. Since I was a, a small boy, it's always been one of my dreams to climb to the top of the tower and go and get fish to really see what it felt like up there. Until a couple of weeks ago, <clears throat> actually a month ago, before I started the painting, uh, I always had dreamed what that might be like. And I, I'm not afraid of heights, so that part didn't bother me. But um, when I climbed out onto the very top of the tower, only then did I realize what an incredible structure the Golden Gate Bridge was. I thought I'd, I had known something before, but it's, it, it appears to be a hundred times higher than you'd ever imagined. And the first thing that comes to your mind is how in the heck did they ever construct this? I mean, it is absolutely incredible. It's so high up, you feel like you're sitting on a flagpole with nothing around for 100 miles. And it's very, very dramatic, and it gives you a, a whole new respect for the, the men that built the bridge.